This is the Yushin Little Magic Square One. This Square One was released over two years ago now, but it was the very first magnetic Square One. And the thing about this, this is not even expensive. It's only fourteen dollars. That's ten if you're in the U.S. So, is this actually good? So this thing is eighty-five grams, pretty light. And as you can see, it's got those primary internals for a unified feel, as Chi would say. And obviously, it is taller than it is wide. 57 millimeters tall, 57 wide. So 57 and 55. And you can kind of see it here. So this cube has a pretty smooth feel. Well, only after you break it in. When you get it out of the box, it's pretty out of the box feel, very like sandy and stuff. Cue the clip of me just turning this out of the box. Let's try parody. What the hell is going on? What is that? That is the worst corner cutting I have ever seen. So, as you can see, I was very unimpressed. And that's because of the corner cuttings. Now, I'll mention the Chifa for a little bit because I have used this uh, before I got this. So this corner cutting is actually amazing. So if we go here, oh, okay, maybe not there, it's a little bit far. It can actually corner cut. And the usual little magic, it can't. Now this being my first square one, I thought all square ones could do this. Uh, but apparently not this was just an outlier and especially because this was a budget product i thought the more expensive ones this isn't too expensive but it is still very uh, a little bit more expensive i thought they could do that but apparently not so when the corner cutting is good you've got to make up for something now one problem i had with the chifa it was kind of slow to be honest and Oh, with square one, you have to make make a lot of precise movements. Like when I go here, I've got to align this perfectly. So that's where speed comes in. And these top and bottom layers are kind of slow, which actually makes sense if you consider the square one mechanism, which I'll get to in a minute. But on the Law Magic, these layers are faster, so I can turn a lot more faster. Uh, slice layer as well, this one's a little bit slower and when I turn it's a lot faster. Now this originally might seem like even more of a downside because if it's fast with bad corner cutting then it's not going to go well. But there are two reasons why it's not as bad. One is it is magnetic so as you can see, you might be able to see, there are magnets in here so it just kind of clicks into place. It's not a big click but it kind of just clicks into place and there's a magnet here as well and when it's faster you can kind of control it a lot better like you can just turn like very relaxed and you can kind of aim your turns a lot easier and if it, if if it's slow then you can't really aim your turns because you've got to put a lot of effort into turning but the corner cutting does kind of save it so speaking of the square one mechanism, let's take a look. So if you don't know what it is, then here it is. What have I done? <laughs> this is what it looks like. So I'm taking part the cheaper because I don't feel comfortable taking part of this. So as you can see, there's this this is an edge piece and it's got this little I guess groove in, in between there. Now as you might be able to see, take another one of these pieces out. As you can see, there's this like thing where it's like, it's, it's this kind of shape right here. And this goes on here. So as you can see, the pieces, they're just rotating on here. And the reason why it's slow is it has to, it, it's going to come in contact with this. So there's going to be quite a bit of friction in between there. Now, obviously a bit of lube can fix this, but... I um, not bothered to put any in mind. So that's how basically a square one mechanism works. And actually there's this um, core. Basically there's a screw. There's basically two parts. I don't want to take the whole thing apart. But there's basically two parts and they're basically joined together. And speaking of the screws, let's 
basically talk about the tightening. Now, when obviously the corner cutting wasn't as good, I thought I'd loosen this. Now, I'm not going to loosen it now, but basically what happens when you loosen it, it becomes uncontrollably fast. Not the kind of words like, you know, it's like fast and it's just nice. When it goes uncontrollably fast, the corner cutting isn't as good. So basically when the turning, the accurate turning I was talking about, it basically becomes even harder to control your turns. You have to go kind of slowly. It basically goes too fast. So I had to tighten it and basically the corner cutting got worse, but it's still like fast enough that I can, can control it. It's kind of weird to say making a cube faster makes it more controllable, but in this case it does. Kind of like on a 7x7 where obviously it's so big you can't really turn that fast. So the faster the cube, the the more the better it is basically. Speaking of this YJ cube, the colors are pretty much the same as say a YJ budget cube. Stationary magic and they are basically the same it's got this nice glossy plastic which I, I like better and if you want to see the color contrast here it is now should you get this cube now the chifa was my first and honestly I, I i didn't for some reason i didn't see the opportunity of getting huge little magic over this so i don't know why but this is still a pretty good cube, and if you, I don't know, can't afford the usual magic, but can afford this, get this, because it's actually pretty good, and you can learn square one on this. For this, it is pretty good. Now, just to say, I'm not really that familiar with square one hardware, although I, I have tried, like, uh, I guess, this, the main competitor, the Vault, the X-Men Vault, so... Especially the V2, it's infamous for breaking. So, like, some of the corners, they, they actually physically break. And you can't use the cube anymore. Just like the Dying Guhan V4. So, if... I don't, so, the vaults are probably better. They probably have a little bit better, better corner cutting. And... If you're willing to sp spend that much, I recommend watching someone else's review because uh, I don't have any information on this. But all I can say is, Yushin Little Magic Square One is very good, and I think you're getting what you pay for. So the Yushin Little Magic is amazing. If you want to buy it, just click the link below. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, this Square One. I have to do my algorithm.